I loved my experience with Escape the Bus. Um, we walked in, didn't know what to expect, we showed a brief little presentation, and we were off and running on how to save the ship. We were um, astronauts that were in space, and we were having difficulties with our um, spacecraft. Um, we had to desegregate these different codes to figure out how to fix the problem. One of the parts broke down, so we had to find the clues to help us find all the parts to put it all back together. And we got to do all these puzzles and unlock stuff to get to the codes, and we had to put all the parts together to put the engine together and put it in where it's supposed to be. The students worked very well. It was great for creative thinking. They put those thoughts together. Everybody worked together. Uh, you had a group doing one thing, another group working on something else. Um, it developed communication skills, listening skills, um, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking. You know, I think uh, the teachers were kind of taken off guard. They really thought that uh, they were headed out there to be chaperones uh, for our fifth graders. And uh, I purposely didn't tell them much about Escape the Bus. And when they got on and they had a chance to become a part of it and become competitive with the whole situation, it, they loved it. It blew them away as well. And uh, Oftentimes the students think the teachers just know everything. And for them to watch us struggle through it, I think it made them more comfortable to struggle through it as well. For them to watch us make mistakes, I think it made them more comfortable to make mistakes as well. For them to watch us say, you know what, I'm actually not sure what the answer is. The challenging part at the beginning was understanding exactly what we had to do. Because we were like thinking, um, it was going to be paper pencil type clues. And then the guys were like, okay, well look, y'all use electronics, you use all the digital tools. The codes, they're given to you, but it's not given to you deliberately how it's supposed to be. You have to think your way through. They may give it to you in a sequence of dots, a different pattern. We would get a clue, look at it a little bit, but we didn't interpret it correctly. So then it would mess us up along the way so that we had to double back and say, okay, well, we didn't do this correctly. Let's go back and let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. The high rigorous learning was definitely there. It was it appropriate? It was more than appropriate. Uh, I wish it, could, it was something that we can incorporate at all times, at all levels, even while differentiating the instruction. It definitely was um, on a level of a, a DOK 3 or 4 because some of it was dealing, it was dealing with math and you had to be able to convert decimals and you had to understand what decimals were, you had to figure out things like that. And so it's challenged me as an educator to see how can I incorporate that in my classroom, whether I have a escape this room or do this or do that or just have a lot of clues and they have to figure stuff out. It's caused me to ensure that my instruction is deep enough to where they can go there. Definitely what the teachers were able to see is that it's possible to do that. Uh, and also introduce them to the website. You know, it's not just a bus. It's an organization that uh, they can follow and, and, and make sure that they understand it and uh, are willing to keep up with it and follow through with it. And I think uh, even if every piece of instruction of delivering the classroom isn't like Escape the Bus, they can always incorporate it throughout the week to make sure they have students uh, pretty much in the palm of their hands, whether it's math or chemistry labs or science labs in general or even the reading that they do. It's not hard, it just takes planning.